Jess Wilco and uh, Mermaid Avenue Project was uh, uh, produced from uh, lyrics written by Woody Guthrie, mostly in the 1940s when Woody lived in New York. And he wrote over 3,000 songs. Wrote the whole songs, but he kept the music in his head. He didn't write down the music, he only wrote down the words to 3,000 songs. So when he died in 1967, the words disappeared forever. And Nora Guthrie, Woody's daughter, was looking for someone to write some new music for these lyrics, for these words. So she approached the great singer-songwriters of the 1960s who had been inspired by Woody Guthrie. The people who you would imagine, I will not use their names, but the people who you imagine, and she said to them, would you like to collaborate with my father? And all of them said no. And she believed that Woody was too big a figure for them. He was a giant for them. They were too close to him. And that she needed to find someone who had not grown up with Woody Guthrie, someone who had not sung This Land Is Your Land when they were small. She spoke to me and talked about the need for a European dimension. Someone from across the Atlantic who could see Woody Guthrie in the backdrop of 20th century American culture. She talked very much about this European dimension. So, with thinking of her words, the first band before Wilco, the first band that I spoke to, to collaborate and write some music, was Kraftwerk. <laughs> and I invited them to come to the studio in London uh, to look at the lyrics, and they sent a big box with three robots in it. And the robots were not assembled. And the information was in German. <laughs> so, me and my uh, sound man tonight, who produced Mermaid Avenue, Grant Showbiz, he and I, we did not, not know what to do. But the kid from next door was able to get the heads of one of the robots to speak. And we were able to write a song with the, the head of the robot with music together, the two of us. But uh, the project failed because Grant, the producer of the album, took the robot head to a disco in London where it asked to go. And they got so drunk, he left the head in the back of a taxi. <laughs> and the head is now running Apple Corporation. <laughs> left the, he left the head in the back of a taxi. But we did manage to write that one song. And while we were in Germany a couple of nights ago, after California Stars, we played the song that I wrote and Woody with the Kraftwerk head. And we thought, because you love Mermaid Avenue so much, you might like to hear it, hear what it sounded like. No, that's not a good response, is it? No, that's a really bad response. <laughs> you play Dead Flowers again, they fucking love that. Well, if only for the sake of curiosity. This will be the only song in the set that nobody films on their phone. This is what it sounds like. Now, but I won't be for long. 
Keep an eye swing when I got to be mine But the girls out of the food all way to the crime Thank you. 